Hello YouTube. This is Tam by MC Wade here. Today I'm going to present to you my audio recorder that I created on December holidays using C++ programming language. I'm actually a student in computer engineering uh, uh, Kate yeah it looks like this this the about and obviously help and contact if I just wrote my email address there where you the, the user can send comments and ask questions about this audio record so this group box here is for settings by default when you down you download or when you launch this one for the first time this a uh, edit box won't be have, have it won't have any a directory selected there but after you have selected one directory next time you run it the last one that was selected it will show as the directory in in news way it is going to save the audio output after recording so uh, i could actually change and save on the desktop or I could create a folder here called my record out output here. I created a folder called record out output. So now uh, I'm going to select that folder. Where is it? Actually? record output so now it will save all the recorded media the next time i run it this will be, s be selected so whenever i, I tick this checkbox it will play a sound while i am recording so now i can start yes now it's it's recording an audio and i could actually hear myself on the speaker just because I have checked this so now it's just recording silently and the file is is generated to, to avoid having duplicate file decided to save the file name as a current date together with the current time there so obviously if I check this checkbox here return play after record it will actually play the moment I press the stop button here so I could now press the stop button and now it's, it's playing the recorded sound I'm not sure if you can hear that sound but it's actually playing Okay. Okay, I can stop the, the recorded sound now and I could choose the default uh, mic devices here. It could work also with this one or this one. Obviously if you select none it won't work and it won't allow you to record but I prefer to select the default because it never gave me any problem and then this is the file I have it have generated after recording I could open my my media player that I've created to play that file and yes of course you could also play it with any 
audio player adapter is installed to your PC. So this is my media player that I have created, the one I'm opening now. I will drag this file and drop it there. It is playing. I can press pause there and stop also and play. As you can see here. I can stop it now. I, I can open it with a VLC media player. Yes, it does. It does play. So now we have discussed recording. So this proves that the audio recorder is actually working perfect. Hope you enjoyed the video. Till till next time.